Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous sessions we discuss about software development life cycle with examples and waterfall model. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now in today's session we will discuss about the next important model that is iterative development model. Let's start the session. In today's session we will discuss about introduction, when to use iterative model, their phases and advantages and disadvantages. As per your exam point of view, there is important question that is explain iterative model with phases or with examples for 7 to 8 marks. Next. Now the first thing is what exactly iterative model. See here in this particular diagram, this is a structure of iterative model. As we know, every software development life cycle start with the requirement and analysis phase. There is a project analyst who collect the requirement from the customer and analyze those requirement. This is the first phase in software development life cycle. Correct? Now after collecting requirement, they design the particular product after that coding and after that testing. Now completing this implementation in iterative model, they review the product. Okay? Review the product means if customer want any new changes or if there are any new versions or if there are any new features. So this thing are available then they review the product and again perform the design coding testing in next iteration. Okay. So they again perform design coding testing and again review this complete implementation. Again check if there are any new iteration, new versions are there. If it is available, they again move to next iteration. Then they again design the product, again perform coding, testing and again review this complete implementation. Now again they check if any new changes, new versions is there. If not, then they deploy the product in customer and maintenance a particular customer product. So this is called as iterative model. So simply means iterative model, you can develop a product in multiple iterations. Okay. Here customer requirements are not fixed as per waterfall model. Customer requirements are continuously changed or new updates, new versions are there, right? So you can made a product as per the new iteration, as per the new features. Clear? Let's take one example like WhatsApp. When there are WhatsApp updates are available, so there are some new features are there, right? So again, you update your WhatsApp. Again, after some months, there are again some new features. You update your WhatsApp from Google Play Store. So again, there are some new features are available, right? So this same thing have up updated in iterative model. Clear? Next. Now the important thing is when to use iterative model. So in iterative model, requirements are clearly and easy to understand because requirements are changes or requirements are not fixed. In waterfall model, requirements are fixed from the customer. But here, iterative model requirements are not fixed. You can change the requirements in any phases of particular iterative model. Here, this iterative model generally used when there is a large software application, large project is there. In this iterative model, new technologies are used. So every developer or every programmer, they need to learn new technology because each iteration new feature is there. So you need to apply some new technology, new frameworks are there. And if there are some high risk features uh, in there, in particular iterative model, so that will be changed in future. Means in iteration one, if there are any errors or if there are any uh, new updates are not available, so you can move to iteration two. Then again, you can move to iteration three in this way. Clear? So in this only particular requirements, iterative models have used. Let's see here in this example, this is a just example for understanding. See here, this image for iteration one, but this image not having that much accuracy or colors representation. So it moved to iteration two. Again, this image again not have any particular accuracy. Then they again move to iteration three. Now in iteration three, there is a accuracy and colors in particular image, right? So this is a last product. Clear? Next. Now again, iterative model phases. We already discussed these phases in software development life cycle in detail. The first phase is requirement gathering and analysis. 
here uh, the particular project analyst gather all the requirements from the customer there is a communication between customers and project team now system analyst analyze those requirements if a particular requirements can be fulfilled or not by the project team or if the particular requirements within the budget or out of budget so they analyze all those things if all okay then they collected all the requirements and plan your complete project they decide the starting of project and different phases of the project now after collecting requirement the next phase is design phase in design phase overall software architecture have decided here ui ux designer design the product by using some algorithm data flow diagram activity diagram class diagram state transition diagram and database design here design represent how your product look like in future next now the next one is coding phase after designing so there is a coding phase so programmer or developer convert software design into the specific code for that purpose they use different programming languages framework or databases after coding the next part is testing phase here tester perform different testing activities and check that your product is meet to the customer requirement or not so they perform different testing methods like white box black box gray box testing as per suitable for the particular project next now after testing there is a review phase in each iteration there is a review phase so review phase means here uh, the particular reviewer check that the particular software is as per the customer requirement or not or if customer want any new requirement or new features in particular project or not so reviewer check this thing if customer want new project then they move to next iteration and they perform again design testing design coding and testing and again review the product in this way so every iteration there are new features new updates are available now last one is deployment and maintenance so at the end the products have developed as per the customer requirement completely so last phase is deployment phase deployment means after completing the project product is delivered to the customer or customer environment and in maintenance phase after deploying product to the customer if there are any bugs there are any issue or customer want any new updates so that this all things solved in maintenance phase clear next now the next point is advantages of iterative model so the main advantages is testing and debugging done during small iterations right because every iteration they check any errors have not then they move to next iteration right so parallel development can plan means there are multiple requirements you can develop a product as per the customer requirement there is a no deadline of project okay now it is easily acceptable and ever changing needs of the project you can uh, you can update the particular product as per the customer requirement so if there are any risk are identified they resolve during iterations only right and there is a limited sp time spent on documentation in waterfall model there are lots of time spent on documentation like srs document sdd documents right but there is a limited time spent on documentation because requirements are not fixed right next the last thing is disadvantages of iterative model the main thing is it is not suitable for smaller projects it is suitable for larger projects for smaller projects you need to use waterfall model now more resources may be required there are multiple iterations right these iterations are not defined so there are more resources are required and uh, requirements are continuously changes right so budget is also not decided at the first time because requirements are change and here again main disadvantages is you need to change the design again and again because of imperfect requirements so this is a main disadvantage here and project completion date or deadline is not confirmed because changing of requirements so these are the disadvantages of iterative model now these disadvantages are solved in next software development model so this is all about iterative model thank you keep learning